We're now besties with Monica. Slightly. Slightly besties. That's not how words work. Do you just take the elevator up there? I don't know. So can you do multiple sessions back to back or? Ah, see, I can ask for, uh, I'll take Madonka Donk, please. I mean, Madonka, what the f <laughs> You sure like her, don't you? But I must ask, do you have enough money to foot the bill? Money, right, I need to pay for these things. 50,000 yen would be nice right about now. Yagami-san, you're back, and you requested me? <laughs> of course, who else would I choose? <laughs> Out of all the girls here, you ended up picking me. That makes me really happy. It's nice to know that doing this will help put an honest person through school. Oh my god. No more. Oh my. Looks like we overdid it, huh? Oh my god, I just spent 50 grand on that. I'll come back when I'm not already stumbling drunk. Oh my god, there wasn't even... a dialogue choice of like, actually, just kidding. <laughs> when the 50 grand was mentioned. Oh god. Took me to nine, I have the skill maxed out, how the hell do I beat that? Well, shit. Well, I was supposed to go back to Yosuke anyway. So now I've just spent 50 grand. <laughs> no. The way he weaves is so specific that it definitely looks like I'm faking it when I'm not. <laughs> hey, it really, it really calmed down. Even though I'm at an 8. You've been smoking for like a day. Yosuke kun. I went to visit Madoka chan. And? How was she? Yeah, so she didn't seem like the hostess type at all. I wonder if she'll be okay over there. Did she flinch or start crying when you touched her? Or did she maybe slap you in the face? What? No. I didn't like a, I didn't lay a finger on her, man. That's not my style. Really? Yagami-san, you're such a good guy. I know I could count on you. Nah. Wait, what's going on here? You set me up to go out with a student, and now you're happy we didn't do anything? Whoa, she actually told you she was a student? Man, I'm impressed. <laughs> Damn, that's nothing sort of a miracle. Yeah, I've brought in my fair share of customers, but you're the first she's opened up to. See? Madoka-chan rarely talks to anyone at work, and I doubt she'd tell anyone about her personal life. That's what they said at the club, too. Yosuke-kun, who is Madoka-chan to you, anyway? You were saying there was some kind of reason behind all this. Uh... You seem like a trustworthy guy. Okay, I'll spill the beans. So, Madoka-chan was actually my senior in high school. Okay. He was really... popular because of her huge chest. So we all teased her by calling her Madonkadonk, you know? Like, Madonkadonks? Wait, I preemptively said that without knowing that reference, apparently? Uh. I thought that word meant... ass. <laughs> yeah, well, it was close enough. And besides, it's not like she knew the difference. Anyway, Madonka Dunk <laughs> Can't deal with this. Got me through some really hard times, if you know what I mean. <laughs> no! That's more than I cared to know, Yosuke. No, that's not what I was saying at all. No, none of us believe you. I would never think of her like that, despite the phenomenal size of her melons. <laughs> I meant she used to look after me. We were in the same academic club, so we spent a lot of time together. And when I was about to get held back a grade, she intervened by helping me with my schoolwork. I really owe her a lot. So that's why you're hell-bent on helping her. She sounds like a really caring person. Hi. She is. Only thing is, she's not super sociable, and she couldn't hold a conversation with a mirror. 
That's why she doesn't get too many customers, even though she has to pay for tuition and who knows what else. <laughs> so I came up with a plan to bring in harmless looking guys and get them to request her. Ah, now I get it. Also, that's... wait. <laughs> then why don't you support her with all the money you've been making? Yeah. No, there's no way I could damage her sense of pride. But Donkey Donk was to stop calling her that. Was never really one to accept charity. She's probably she'd probably say something like, Don't don't worry about it, Yosuke kun. I can get by on my own. I understand. Does she know that you're working as a bank as a barker? Nope, I'm just cheering her on from the sidelines. Oh. Now that you know all this, would you maybe pay her a visit on your own? And spend a lot of money on her? And and if you have any harmless friends, could you send them my way so I can introduce them to her? Uh. Well, okay. I'll at least give it some thought. Some harmless friends. Uh, I don't necessarily know if he's like a toxic nerd is the problem. But he's at, he's at least socially inept. So this is like two people that don't know how to talk together, kind of. This is one idea, I suppose. <laughs> I keep thinking that's the door, don't I? It's because it lines up perfectly with the, the waypoint for the building as, as a whole. I have an extra rice ball, Yagamishi. Will you want it? <laughs> Isn't it great how convenience store bentos don't go bad even at room temperature? It's distressing, mostly. Nope. That is not the step that that was implying. Hmm. Am I supposed to actually think of another person to send to her to him, or was that just an I... Or is that just, like, flavor text? Let's see. Just trying to clear that out. Oh, there are no side cases. They're all done at the moment. Hmm. I wonder if Ryan's here now? Like, visibly? I could almost see it being a thing like he was missing because I was in the middle of the other thing or something. I'm not sure. Did I max out that skill? Or is it still work in progress? Drone ace. Nullifies the effect when that has a new drone. Uh, I'm all out of skills. It makes me sad. Alright, so now, now wind is useless on me. But I still- okay, so that's not even the wind, that's just the limit of how far away you're allowed to take the drone. Are you hiding inside of the vending machine? <laughs> Huh. Well, that'll come up at some point, I suppose. And Sebastian wants me to be like... I, right, I have to find all the QR codes. That guy wants me to find the cats. I don't remember what that guy wants, but I feel like... I think I remember it being something that's more long-term. Like, I need to find someone. And there's Madoka. But I think I need to have a higher alcohol, alcohol tolerance to be allowed to continue with that storyline or something. Maybe. So, I, Montai Genda, there we go. Let's go to Genda Law Office. I need to check to see if there's new quests during this chapter. New side cases. So while I'm here, I should check the Law Office. Hi guys! Oh, how you doing? Oh, you remember me? I'm so glad everyone remembers me.
It never lands. Well, congrats. That was basically an accident. <laughs> you knocked me over and activated my trap card. I just missed that entirely. Dented carbon. Oh man, I love my materials most when they're low quality. <clears throat> Who needs straight carbon when you got dented carbon? I like to think that there's about the idea that there's some goddamn part you need to buy that requires the carbon to be dented. For some reason. Yeah, the, the, I want my, my building materials better be fucked up or I won't be able to qualify. Hello. Nope. Level, reputation level 20. Ah. So I need more story progress before I can come back here again. I qualify for the level 20 thing, but it requires main story progress I have not made yet. Gotcha. Meanwhile, I don't think Bartender's even been giving me quests, so I think we just gotta go back to Kaito. And proceed with the main story. And then while I'm there, I can maybe also look into seeing if I have new stuff. Time to unwind with some Kamuru of the Dead. Oh yeah, my favorite Gideon video games are the ones that only have five levels that each are about one minute long. I love Kamuru of the Dead. <laughs> Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Here, grab me. Grab me. I dare you. Grab me. Grab me. Grab me. I said grab me! Firmly grasp it. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, fine. I just thought it would be cool if somebody grabbed me. So I've got the recover from being grabbed attack. But fine. Guess I'll just kill you all. They're all dead now. Dead forever. Now I've got to eat food because you dented my health bar just like my carbon. Altered Carbon was a pretty decent Netflix show. Soba in hot broth. Oh, yeah, now it's gonna show each one of them one by one. Chilled soba. Chilled tanuki soba. Chilled kutsune soba. That's a fox, I think. <gasps> Katsudan. Yuzu chicken and spinach soba. Special Fuji soba. Egg and tempura soba. Conquer Fuji Soba. Yeah. Drone Racer Pack. Whoa. What were in those? Whoa. Pyrocene and Rainbow Pyrocene. The Sacred Tree Branch. Master Frame Blueprints. Look at all these weird things I've got. I like, it's a bunch of stuff for your vehicle, and then like, earrings, cat food, plates. These all fit together, definitely. Yo, modotta no ka? Ah, Ray no Charul te gaze ni haitte. Higashi tomo atte hanashi shita. Bikou ga bare ta no ka? Ya? 
こっちから話しかけたどんな感じだったまず今の松金組はおやっさんも羽村の頭を抑えきれてないそれで東も頭の言いなりになるしかないってことらしいそうかただ実際話してみて東はそこまで昔と変わってない気もしたよそうは見えなかったかな If Higashi's really changed, I bet it all started after the break in that got Kaito san kicked out. I wonder what came of all that. One year ago, Kaito san was killed in the army. Huh? The army was killed by the army. The army was killed by the army. The army was killed by the army. 結局その始末はどうなったカイトさんは何か聞いてるか金は東が回収したらしい例の綾部から聞いた情報によればだ東がどうやってさあなもっと詳しく聞きたきゃ20万出せって言われてよそん時は持ち合わせがなかったんでなそれっきりだじゃあ綾部に聞けばいろいろわかるわけか金はかかるぞ奴は今ならテンダーにいるはずだカイトさん東とは全然会ってなかったのか今日破門されて以来久々だ俺と行き来すりゃあいつが頭に目つけられる迷惑になっちまうと思ってなそっか羽村の頭がこの先どう動くかまたここに押しかけてくるそいつは時間の問題だで次はマジで俺らをやりに来るかもな<笑>そこまでされるような真似したかねそれだけモグラに触られたくねえってのが一つあとは何より頭は俺らのことが嫌いだタグこないだ頭に無罪取ってやったのって俺らだよな報われないねそう、キャラクターは言うと、彼は同じようなことをしていたときに私たちと一緒に。Oh, Tomioka san put some food in here. This is meat and potato stew. It's chow time! I'll warm it up and eat it right away. In front of this other guy, without, without providing any of it to him. Man, that's good. Yay! She's doing a good cooking. We kind of already knew that earlier, though. <laughs> 金が足りなきゃその時考えるよ。You said 200 grand? I do have that. I don't know which ones are new. I think this might be the new one. I don't remember there being a drum and bass one. Anyway. No. Ah. 
uh, yep, I just haven't made it far enough in the story to gain access to this level 21. So now my reputation has outranked my story progress, so just time to get some story progress done, I guess. How are we doing, by the way? That reputation's actually exactly 20 out of 50. Alright. Zero out of four girlfriends. Uh, there's something... Alright, that's just... <laughs> Man, look at us just juggling them. Like pins. <laughs> Hello. You're exactly where you're supposed to be, actually, because this is where you live. So it's less weird that you're here. But it's still weird how you're always around. <laughs> I just decked that guy with my aura. Seriously, dude, where's the cat? I'm gonna lose my mind. You said it was like a calico? I'm gonna Google calico again. Besides being the monster hunter pun for palico. Remind myself what a calico cat. Yeah, it's the ones that are that are like half white, and the other half is like a combination of like black and orange. But it's definitely not the one that's right next to him. But I also definitely have no idea where he is. And it's a really big open world to search. So like, I don't. Oop, there's a part right here. Sorry, lady. You just kind of. Incidentally, in the, my path. She just like, noped right into a wall to get away from me. I don't know, man. I want to progress your thing, but also I don't want to look for a cat. So it's a really obvious problem for me, as you might imagine. Hi! How are you doing, sir? There you go. Yeah. Oh. Hi, hi. Ow. Ah. Why won't it work? Ah. Stop that. This is a bad feedback loop. Ah. Why does the heat action keep going away? What the fuck? Ah, damn it, I don't want that one. Because he's enraged, so I think I'm able to counter his enraged uh, attack. But, like, the prompt keeps disappearing. Fuck it. Uh, it's so much work to try to do a move that isn't even effective, because I could just kill him. It's easy. He is easy to kill. I'm trying to do- I'm trying to do the move because it exists more so than because it's helpful. Oh, there's Bartender. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm at Bartender. Right now. There we go. Yo, いらっしゃい。噂じゃあ、この店に悪徳警官が出入りしてるって。あのな、うちの客にそんなのいないよ。人聞きの悪い。早部来てない。さっき来るって連絡があったよ。それよりターボ、ちょうど良かった。一つ頼まれて欲しい仕事があるんだ。仕事？矢上探偵事務所、神室町一と見込んでね。うん？そう言われると断
今すぐその代わり綾部さんが来たら連絡してやるからただ待ってるより一稼ぎしてきなよ八神探偵はあそれもそうだな Rod and your scope Yep So now we can get these Yeah now we can pick up cases from bartender I think So now we have all three locations set up I believe the game had multiple slides that explained all the different locations I'm going to be able to buy to get jobs from. We were just waiting for the story moment to happen where Bartender opens up. These things are everywhere, especially since they, since they, came to, they seem to respawn. That's not how you get inside of this, bu this business. Oh, it's a Wild Jackson. Sure. Based on this location, I was expecting a bar. Because the shootout that happens in a bar happens, like, near here-ish. Let's heal up my past mistakes. I really, I really let the guy screw me up while I was trying to make a particular move happen. Ah. Oh my god, there's so many. Bantam. Isn't I think that's where the shootout happened, right? And they rebranded afterwards. Because not great for press. Yo, people died in this building. It was brutal. Check it out. <laughs> I don't know. There's, there's some people like that, maybe. Gotcha. This is where the client told me to meet him. Detective Yagami? Are you my client? Yeah, you could call me Crow. Mm -hmm. That mask. Are you in that group of thieves everyone's been whispering about lately? Why? You wouldn't snitch if, you, if I was, would you? We may be thieves, but we don't steal from the righteous. Just the bad guys, you know, like Robin Hood. And because they're bad, it's not a crime? That's for a judge to decide, not me. <laughs> really? You're more of a goody two-shoes than I thought. The barkeep at Tender told me this was a request from one of his regulars. But he knew I'd turned down a request from a thief, so he lied to me. Damn, that's cold. Here's the thing, I protect my client's privacy, so you can rest easy about that. But if you're trying to get me to help you steal something, I'm not accepting your case. Okay, that suits me fine. Because all I want you to do is find someone. Mm -hmm. Find someone? He goes by Jester. I don't know his real name. So he's... Oh. Yes, he's one of ours. But I haven't been able to reach him for a while. I think it's safe to say he's missing in action. I'm betting it's the exact character that we've encountered before. You know, the one with the best mask. You know what he looks like? As his name suggests, he wears a Jester's mask. Oh, really? Is that supposed to be a jester's? I guess kind of. I definitely more heavily associate that with uh, Guy Fox. I know exactly who that is. One of our guys screwed the pooch and we ended up needing to run from the cops. We only managed to get away because Jester distracted them. Hmm. Sounds like a hell of a friend. That's when we lost touch with him, though. But he's way too good to get captured, and that's what makes his silence all the more perplexing. Sounds like you have a lot of faith in him. I wonder if that escape they're talking about, where he distracted them, was the exact moment we met them. He's our ace in the hole. He's smart, professional, and really good. Did that sign just 
Oh, it's turning on and off. Okay. I thought it I thought it spawned midway through the scene and I'm like, what? So if he's in trouble, we need to be there for him this time. God, your masks suck. He clearly has the best one, although the, the plague doctor's fine. I see. I'll pay you 50,000 yen. And don't worry, it's clean money. I was curious about that guy myself. If I take this job, maybe we'll cross paths again. Uh. Alright, I'll accept the case. <laughs> then it's a done deal. We'll be expecting results. Wait. How should I get in touch with you if I find anything? Come back here when you find something out. We always have someone watching this spot. We'll know when you come, Yagami-san. I see. So long, then. <laughs> you waited a little too long and you made it weird. I'm helping a group of notorious thieves find their buddy. What is life if not an adventure? Where do I even begin? I guess it wouldn't hurt to check out the spot where I saw him last. If I recall, that was the building behind Tenkaichi Street. Let's move. Mm -hmm.